Hello everyone. Today we are going to uh, discuss on the material ledger actual costing. So here we discuss what is the impact of ML actual costing on the system. Um, if we run actual costing, what is the impact? If we don't run ML actual costing, what is the impact on the uh, SAP uh, FI0 systems. That's what uh, we are going to discuss here. So this video is uh, relevant for those people uh, who are doing workshop uh, for their client. Um, we'll make them understand what is the advantage they get if they run ML actual costing run. Um, if they don't run ML actual costing, what, is, what will be their accounting entries? Uh, this video can also be used by people who are trying to understand what is the accounting postings and what is the impact on profitability report. Uh, this, this can be understood, this video. Okay, let's start now. So before or without actual costing run, let's assume <clears throat> we have uh, variances posted during, uh, during your a production order settlement we have let's assume 100 rupees have posted in your variances gl account now let's say <clears throat> these are the opening stock 100 quantity of uh, opening stock you have and standard price of 10 rupees so total inventory value is thousand now we are doing a goods receipt of 20 rupees and so that you know uh, 20 multiply by 10 200 rupees gr value so total 120 quantity there in our existing stock now let's say uh, they have done a goods issue to the customer for 30 quantity per price standard price is 10 rupees so total inventory value is 300 now closing stock is like uh, 120 minus 30 that means 90 is the closing stock so 900 so in this scenario let's assume we are taking a POPA profitability report. In this case, let's assume revenue is 10,000 and revenue minus COGS. That means in our case, COGS value is 300. Minus 300, let's say uh, variance, variance is 100 rupees, right? So 100. So here profit will be reflecting as um, uh, 10,000 minus 300 minus 100. That means 9,600. So this this will be uh, your uh, pre report will be showing if you are not running actual costing. Now let's take an example of uh, now now let's come to the same scenario where you are doing actual costing run where your variance of this hundred this hundred variance of this hundred will be used to reevaluate your inventory and COGS account. Okay, let's say, so in this case, how system will use this 100 to evaluate your inventory and COGS? So system will look into, take this 100 and we'll see how, uh, what is the, uh, what was the uh, stock uh, we had in, for that material and how much percentage of that stock has been issued to the customer. So in this case, we had stock of 120, we had out of 120 30 quantity of uh, material have been issued to the customer that means around 25 percentage of the quantity have been issued to the customer so this uh, 75 25 proportion system will uh, use this variances variances to evaluate their inventory and cvgs so around 25 percentage so 25 percentage of 125 rupees will be used to evaluate the cvgs account so cvgs of uh, uh, 25 have got debited while this accounting entry will get posted at the time of uh, actual costing run. So COGS uh, or revaluation of COGS account will get 25 debited. So remaining 75. So remaining 75 will be used to evaluate existing inventory. Inventory account got debited with 70, uh, debited 75 and credited to 100. So in this, let's see how, what, what will happen. So now you are uh, as per the, um, so when you do actual costing run, two accounting entries will get posted. So first accounting entry is posted as per the last day of the previous period. And the second accounting entry will get posted at the first day of the current period, right? So, <clears throat> 
as per the last day of accounting period, um, you can see that your uh, inventory is valuated with this 900. So you can see here, uh, uh, what is the closing stock 900 plus this 75. So 975 will be the closing inventory value as per the last day of previous period. So what will be the COGS value? So in here, COGS is 300, right? 300. So this 300 plus this 25. So that will be the revaluated COGS value 325. So as per the last day of previous period, your variance will be zero, right? So now when you produce the, your profitability report uh, by your client, uh, as per the last day of previous period, you will see the profitability like this manner. So revenue will be 10,000 minus COGS 325. Your variance will be zero. So I'm not showing variance here. So you, you display this variance yellow account that will be displaying as zero here. Then pro, then its system will show profit as 10,000 minus 325. That means 9675. So this will be the accurate profitability report. It is showing with the actual cost. So let's see what will happen at the first day of the current period. So system will reverse the inventory posting. That means the inventory account will credit it again and variance will get debited again. Why? Because your inventory has to show according to the standard price from the current period onwards, current first day of the current period onwards. So this, this, is, this video is just, I'm showing here, what is the accounting impact uh, as, as a result of actual costing. So in the next video, we will talk about the uh, total uh, complete uh, uh, accounting flows uh, from the raw material to semi-finished goods to finished goods, all uh, accounting flows we will discuss on the next video. Keep watch this um, uh, this area. Um, you can search my YouTube blogs uh, in the uh, in the name of Vibin M V B I B I N M V. Um, we will discuss more on the uh, FACO parts, uh, different uh, mostly into controlling modules. Uh, I would request you if you do, if you like this video, we'll, I will request you to subscribe this channel and like this video. Thank you very much.